What's up, guys? Mr. Lipke here. Today, we are going to talk about perpendicular lines. Okay, these two terms are horizontal and vertical. Let's look at our shape over here. The top and the bottom line are horizontal lines. The two sides are vertical. You can think about this in terms of your desk that you're working at. The top of your desk is a horizontal line. The legs of your desk or the sides are vertical because they're straight up and down. Another way to think of it as horizontal is like the horizon. When you look out over the horizon, that's the line that we see far out into the distance. Think about it in terms of your computer screen right now. The top and the bottom of your computer screen are horizontal. The two sides are vertical. Now, when a horizontal and a vertical line intersect, that means meet at a corner, we call that perpendicular. Now, perpendicular corners are square, perfectly square corners. If you take a perfect square like this and put it in there, Okay, we can see that these two lines form a perfect square, okay? And that's important because that's actually the symbol that we're going to use to show that we have perpendicular lines. Now, there's another term that we're going to talk about called a right angle, and you'll see that I've written 90 degrees in here. That's just a little bit of added information for another time. So what we're going to use is that square... And we're going to put that square, that was not a square, we're going to put that square in that corner. Now, I didn't draw a perfect square there, but you can see that the lines are perfectly square by the piece of paper that I used right here. Okay, to review, we've got horizontal line on the top and bottom of our shape, and we've got a vertical line on either side. When a vertical line and a horizontal line intersect, we call those two lines perpendicular. We also say that that is a square angle, and it's also known as a right angle. Okay, let's look at a different shape. Now, last time we talked about naming our shapes using letters. I'm going to name this shape using A, B, C, D, and E. If we're going to talk about this shape, we can say that it has five sides. Okay? We also call that a pentagon. Five sides, pentagon. Now, how many perpendicular sides do we have in this shape? Well, we've got two different sets. Let's show those sides using the square that we talked about earlier. There. Now we have shown our two square perpendicular right angles in this shape. So we'll write two right angles. So now we've got two right angles, five sides, that's a pentagon. We've got two right angles, and we can say that our line BC is perpendicular to our line CD. Now, we show that using another symbol. This little symbol here, it looks like a T upside down. Line BC is perpendicular to line CD. Now, we've also got line CD is perpendicular to line DE. Okay, so we've got our line CD is perpendicular, our upside down T, to line DE. 
Okay, let's review. Perpendicular sides. When any two sides of a shape meet and form a right angle that we mark with a square, we say that those sides are perpendicular. Okay? In this shape, pentagon A, B, C, D, E, we have two right angles, and we have line BC is perpendicular to line CD. We also have line CD is perpendicular to line DE. Okay, so that's perpendicular sides. Thanks for watching.